This contender tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a 2011 Greek boxing national champion. His professional kickboxing record, 25 wins with five losses, 13 of those wins by knockout. He'll make his glory debut tonight in Den Bosch. Standing six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 232 pounds, 105.3 kilos. Here tonight, fighting out of Kavala, Greece. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Giannis Hercules Savoridis. Here now is his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner. A former Brazilian national champion. His professional record, 40 wins with 16 losses, one bout scored even, 25 career knockouts. At six feet, three and a half inches, 1.92 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 236 pounds, 107.2 kilos. Here tonight, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, is Anderson Braddock Silva. And your referee in charge of the glory ring, Tobias Gerald. Janis, Anderson. So gentlemen, you both know the rules. Respect my commands all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight good, fight clean, fight hard. May the best man win. Judge glove if you want, and back to the corners. Judge, 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 judge. Time, ready, fight! Certainly a tall order here for Stafferini's. Thrown right into the deep water facing Anderson Braddock Silva, who's wearing the white gloves. Stafferides in the black. Well, Stafferides is a southpaw. Let's, so let's see how he uses that southpaw advantage against Silva. Anderson Silva coming off a very tough loss in his last bout, losing to Benjamin Attic Bowie in Chicago. Joe, a lot of people felt that he won that fight. Well, the problem was there was a controversial low kick knockdown in the third, which made it to go an extra round and you can see Silva's energy totally died about that extra round because he thought he won that fight. But to his credit, Silva went back to the gym, worked harder than ever. You can see he's more lean than he was in his last fight, certainly. Yeah, maybe he plans on being a little bit more active. Oh, and a quick left hand and that is ruled a slip, surprisingly, perhaps. Fight. That definitely looked interesting. Silva looked hurt there. And he's backed up against the ropes, and Stafferidis smells blood here. You could hear Stafferidis' corner yelling that that was a knockdown. Good job, Adyan. He's really trying to change angles with his boxing. And Stafferidis now putting the pressure on the Brazilian who's got the earmuffs on. I really like how he's changing angles. Braddock's very experienced. Let's see if he can control his emotions, relax, and recover from it. Now Stafferidis perhaps being a little more patient, trying to save some of his energy. It would be a good strategy. He knows how experienced Braddock is. At first glance, it seemed like a knockdown. And there, that is a knockdown as Silva crumples to the canvas. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, okay? Silva not just favored to win this fight, but favored to win this tournament, and things are going horribly for the Brazilian right now as Stafferidis going for the finish. Stafferidis is finding a lot of success with his left straight. Mixing in that low kick to the rear leg. Now keep in mind, if Silva goes down one more time in this round, the fight is over. A straight left right up route one, back Silva to the ropes again, and another left hand. Now that left hand's doing really well. Whether he throws it as a left straight or a left hook, he's doing damage with it. Right. Round one going about as well as it possibly could for Hercules. Hands up, hands up. And Silva again off balance, backing up into the corner. Excellent. Composure by Stafferini. He's really trying to set up his shots, use his low kicks. Stafferini's, his glory debut, no less, puts Anderson Silva on his backside. 
at least once, Joe, maybe twice as we look at the replay. Yeah, that actually looked like a knockdown to me. Let's take a closer look. Oh, yeah. Now that's definitely a knockdown to me. That is a hard left hand right there. And that is a knockdown, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the official knockdown, Joe. Yeah, Safarini started trying to use his low kick, but then he really started throwing his left hand at different angles, whether it's a hook or a straight. He's doing a good job at really being unpredictable how he lands that left hand. So what's the message now to Anderson Silva to get back in this fight? Well, he needs to be a little bit more active. If I was Silva, I want to see him counterpunch more versus the aggressive forward style striking of Yanni. Keep in mind, the winner of this fight fights again later tonight, so Stuffaridis would love to end this right here, right now. Ready? Fight! Stafaridis, 25 and 5 with 12 knockouts. Here's the official scorecards from our five judges. All of them see it 10 8 with that knockdown. That was an easy round to score. Stafaridis in that pressure, picking his shots. He needs to keep composed and keep finding that left hand. That's what Silva needs to do be a little bit more active. Can't wait too long. Stafarid has really slowed down in this round. Stafarid told us yesterday he, he believes Silva's on his way down, not what he once was. He says, I'm on my way up. We're going to pass in the night. Well, it's an impressive start. I'm just wondering if he's slowing down because he's tired or is he having to set something up waiting to the end of the round? And that was ruled a slip, rightfully so. And Joe, when you see a fighter that carries that much muscle, how often does it affect their longevity in fights? Well, they say it tires you out quicker because you need to deliver more oxygen to those big muscles. But I've seen some big guys able to go five rounds. Look at the current champion, Rico Verhoeven. Well, tonight, there's a chance to operate. He's gonna have to go six rounds. Three in this fight and three in the finals. Now keep in mind, because of those 10-8 rounds, if Silva were to win this round, and that right hand helps, and win the third round 10-9, we could go to an extra round, but Silva might want to end it right here, right now. Well, this is definitely Silva's round. He's being more busy, and that's what he needs to do. A nice left to the body by Silva. And Stavridis takes a deep breath and then takes a knee. What a turn of events here. That's that experience of Silva we're talking about. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine. And it's over. Anderson Silva gets up off the campus and sends Yanni Stavaridis there and wins the first semifinal in this heavyweight tournament. Did you see that coming? I definitely didn't see that coming. I'm not sure what happened. It didn't look damaging enough, but who knows what happened with Stavaridis. But man, Anderson Silva's experience really showed in this fight. Well, watch these body shots, Joe. That's what right makes there. Silva busy. He changes levels with his left hook. That's where a lot of his knockouts come. Could have been a body shot to me, I'm not sure. Didn't look like the headshots did the damage. It's those ripping shots to the body. You could almost see in his face, he was questioning himself. Can I keep going? Am I done? And he decided, I don't want any more of the big Brazilian. Anderson Braddock Silva has done it again and advances to the finals of our heavyweight tournament. We make it official when we return.